Good day folks, welcome back to another little chinwag. Look at this spot here man. I'm going to explain about this little place in a minute. Together with the subject, don't judge a book by its cover. Just like this place right here. Look at this man. This is at the arse end. That's in British. In, hang on, I've just got to traipse my way through here a little bit barefoot so we can get back to the beach here. But that little place you've just seen then, you saw there, that is just a ruin basically, a ruin on a beautiful beach here called Eshbuha. Um, it's just a deserted palapa, it's, it's a deserted bar basically. And uh, the other side of the beach, where we've just come from, we're in a beautiful like beach club basically. I'll show you a photo now, or a little video that I took before. I've just taken myself away from the crowds basically. I've taken myself away to this deserted spot right at the end of the beach where no one really comes. Like I say, this place obviously used to be something at some point. That used to be a beach bar or a beach something and it's just been left to rot. Now, what we have there is all the local people making the most of the old building, okay? So all of the tourists they're right down the other end of the beach there, right down there. Eshbuha, it's called. Loads of beach clubs, very nice, beautiful down there. It's absolutely stunning. But look at this bit here. No one comes here, hardly. The only people that are here are local people in there, okay? So I'm just gonna find some shade here so I can talk to you guys about the subject, which is don't judge a book by its cover, which is exactly what I am not doing right now while I'm here. So I've just sat, I've just walked through that that um, ruin there. And let me just take my glasses off, folks. Can my eyes handle it? Yeah, it's a bit bright. It's a little bit bright. I'm gonna try and handle it so it's a bit more personal, yeah. Um, so I've just been into that ruin there and it's just full of local people with barbecues, with a little fire, making some food, with beers. And they're just keeping themselves away from the busy part of the beach. I'm gonna have to put my glasses on folks because it's very bright. But anyway, don't judge a book by its cover, okay? So basically, as I, since I've been here, I've, yeah, I'm in a, a lovely beach club. Let me give you some guys, some kind of view of a beach so that you're not just looking at the back there. How was that? Okay, so I've just been to a, um, in a lovely little beach club there. It's absolutely stunning, you know, really, really nice full of nice people, full of beautiful people, good looking people, um, people on holiday, local people, you know, well to do kind of people, I guess, people that have got a little bit of money so they can pay to have some nice expensive food by the beach and all of this, which I really, th I love it. It's, it's very nice, you know. But then you've also got the local side of the, of things, which is here, you know, which is to me is equally as beautiful and it's free. Whereas I'm very fortunate, the beach club we're going to, we, we have access for free, but for the general public, it's not free. You have to spend a certain amount on food or drinks or this, that and the other, okay? So, one would think that the people that go to these places that you have to pay for and uh, all of that are, are better people, right? Because they've got money, they've, uh, they're nicer people, they're cleaner people. They must be, they must be, right? They're, they've got money, they, they must be, nicer, cleaner people than the average person, for example, the people that are in this palapa here. I'm going to argue against that, folks, because something I witnessed the other day just hit home massively to me. Like, hugely, I couldn't, I couldn't believe it, to be honest with you. So I was in a... We, we were walking down um, one of the streets here in, in... Well, in Playa del Carmen, in the town we were in. And it's a very nice street. We went to a very nice... Um, cafe I guess you would call it uh, I've had to turn you away from the beach folks because of the wind I want you to be able to hear me so you're having to be like that unfortunately because the wind is pretty strong coming on anyway we were in this cafe and uh, I needed the toilet okay so I I said to my girlfriend and her family I'm just gonna go to the toilet banyo so off I go to the toilet and I approached the toilet door 
and uh, ah. it's, it's slightly open, okay? The door's yeah. slightly open and it's dark. There's no light on in there. So obviously I think it's empty, right? Would you think it's empty? I'm sure you would agree. So I push the door open and there's a guy st stood in there taking a piss, taking a, sorry, taking a pee. Yeah, he's taking a wee in the dark with the door slightly open. So I, I instantly said, oh, I'm sorry, sorry. And he went, uh, 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 like, like awkward. So I, I closed the door behind him, yeah? Like, that's what you should do, no? Close the door behind you. Anyway, so I closed the door behind him and instantly, instantly, within a few seconds, the door opens very fast. And this guy looks at me and walks out and then washes his hands and then goes back to wherever he was, right? So I'm thinking, that's so strange. Wait there one second, folks. I'm just gonna check that you're still recording. Yes. Because my uh, GoPro has a tendency to stop. So I was like, what was that about? Like, you know, so I go in there, I switch the light on, I close the door, I lock it, I take a pee. And while I'm stood there, I'm thinking, why? Why was this guy like stood in there in the dark on his own? And I know exactly why it was, folks. And this guy was very, this, the whole reason for me saying this as well, this guy looked very well to do, very clean, smelt of aftershave, his hair was very combed and he was, you know, he was, he was a, a, he was a well-groomed man, I'd say in his fifties, okay? Because when, once I took a pee, I went back to the, one, to my table and I saw him sat down with his family and they were all very well to do, all very pristine, nice shirts, very fresh looking, you know? bit of money I would say and I was like so I, I, I need to go back a little bit so when I went into the toilet I looked down at the toilet the toilet seat wasn't up as a man if you take a pee you put the toilet seat up if you're standing right the toilet seat was down there was pee all over the toilet seat the light was off and the door was open this guy really didn't want to touch anything basically so he's gone into the toilet he's closed the door slightly probably with his foot so that he can open it with his foot so he doesn't have to touch it with his hand he's taken a pee without lifting the seat up so he doesn't have to lift the seat lid up with his hand he didn't flush the chain which i forgot to mention his pee was really dark orange by the way he, he should have probably needs to see a doctor uh and obviously didn't want to flush the chain and the sinks, the, where you wash your hands, is outside. This is a guy with, when you look at him, you would think, wow, he's, he's got a bit of money. He's very clean, he's very pristine, he's very well groomed. Yet when you see his toilet habits, I would expect that from nobody, you know? I wonder if he treats his own house like that. Anyway. That just made me think like, you know, I started looking around and all of these people that look very well dressed, very well to do. And does that, does that really mean that their morals are like the same? Absolutely not, folks. Absolutely not. I couldn't stop looking at this guy after. He, you know, he was sat there with his family laughing and joking and, and, and wanting everything the way he wanted. And yeah, I've just seen how he treats a toilet in public and it was disgusting you know i'm pretty sure some guy off the street wouldn't even treat the toilet the same the same way he did you know and clearly since the pandemic he, he feels like he doesn't want to touch anything he he needs to be clean he needs to be safe and you know regardless of whatever it doesn't matter what you should never ever ever i don't think in a public toilet leave the seat down piss all over it and then not even flush the chain <laughs> and then open the door with your foot it's just like what the hell so when I, since i've been down here folks anyway it just reminded me of that i shouldn't it's a strange subject hang on one sec you're checking you're still recording yes you are i just it just reminded me of that you know i've just been sat there with lots of like well-to-do people and fancy people and but then you see how they are in the background with their the bathroom antics it's just i couldn't believe it folks honestly i couldn't believe it i couldn't believe it anyway that's why i say never judge a book by its cover okay because i can guarantee you someone living on the street would never have t like treated the toilet in the same way i don't think 
I just, there's, there was no reason for it, apart from being frightened of touching stuff. And that is the media, I guess, making him scared of touching the toilet, touching the door, touching anything that any other human has touched. He's gonna get ill because he's gonna be too clean. Anyway, folks, that's the chinwag for today. Don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge people by their covers, you know? Definitely not. So I'm gonna take myself back now to the fancy folk. <laughs> but I just love coming down here, folks. Honestly, I love coming down to these little bits where no one else comes, you know? There's little hammocks in the, in the trees over there. It's absolutely amazing, like, I love it. Anyway, until the next one, you take care of yourselves, folks, okay? Keep yourselves clean. Don't touch anything in them toilets, they're disgusting. You're going to catch loads of germs, honestly. Alright folks, here you go. Here's the old ruin one last time. I came here in a, in a previous video actually, from Eshruha. Check it out, I'll put the link in the description. Adios. <laughs>